able to start this vlog. The best flavor right here. Ooh, spicy. God damn. That tastes so good. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jaime. And in the last video, I promised you guys when I did the down pipes that I would give you some better sound clips. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys have not checked out that video already, make sure you guys go check that out first. So what we got here is we got our GoPro here, UV filter, mic with a wind muff. Hopefully this allows us to get some good audio. Got our car mount here. Hopefully this does not fall off the car. That would really suck. If you guys want to pick up any of this stuff that I'm using, I will link it in the description. It's all from Amazon. This is what I use to get sound clips from outside the car uh, footage as well. Pretty nice little setup with the GoPro. I have a GoPro 7 Black. This is all from Amazon. We've got the laptop here as well. So I run boot mode or BM3 on my car. Right now it's stage one. I have not gone to stage two. Even though I installed the new downpipes, I'm yet to go stage two. I want to do that in a separate video. So what we're going to be doing is adjusting the verbal settings to spice it up a little bit and uh, give you guys a little bit more excitement for this video. Such a nice day out. I freaking love it here. For you guys that don't know, I live in San Diego. I live like in the outskirts, so kind of in the mountains and it's freaking beautiful. It's so nice and peaceful. That's exactly why we're going to be doing a cold start delete on this right now. I just installed the downpipes in my last video if you guys didn't see that. Two nights ago, their arm resonated downpipes. I also have a VRSF single midpipe, so the car is pretty loud without the cold start delete. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. If you guys want to hear what that sounds like, make sure you check out that previous video. And you'll be able to hear the cold start with the GTS roar and all that. But for now, we're going to delete it. going to make some quick adjustments. So here we got the burble settings. We're going to, we're just going to mess with the Sport Plus settings. Make it a little bit longer duration, a little bit more aggressive. Drop down the minimum RPM. That's all good. So we just adjusted it a little bit. So what we're gonna do is actually turn off the cold start. The new flash was successful. The changes are saved. So we're gonna go on with the video. Let's make sure everything's good. Yep. All right, we're good. So that's it guys, simple as that, super easy. Also guys, at the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you the next mod to come up for the F80 M3. It's, it's a really big one and I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be really nice, so I can't wait to do that. So if you wanna check that out, at the end of the video, I'll be showing what it is and then uh, it'll be an install for a later video. So make sure you guys stick around to the end. Super quiet, I freaking love it, it's perfect. I really like how you can go from being quiet to being rowdy, and just like a freaking touch of a button. All right, hopefully this does not fall off. That would really suck, but I think we're good to go. getting some good uh, sound clips for you guys.
took a little break. We're gonna head back now, and uh, what we're gonna do is actually put the GoPro inside now and have it with me. So it's so nice out here. There's a lot of back roads right where I live, and there's like no cars out here because it's mainly just houses. You just have to be careful, obviously. It's very tight turns, but the car handles amazingly. It sounds pretty good. I was actually getting a little nauseous. I really haven't ate this morning, so my stomach's a little light. GoPro held on. We're gonna go ahead and take this off and then uh, put it inside with us and give you guys a better view. Car looks freaking good, even though it's dirty as hell. Man, I accidentally plowed some dirt on my way up this little uh, cliff right here. <laughs> Man, guys, those are some nice ass houses. I live close by, but I don't live like that. I'd love to live there. Look at that. Those badass views. This road that I go on is super tight, super curvy, so you can't really go that fast. Especially in this car, you don't get traction in first and second gear, like at all, so you kind of could just do like third gear pulls. So most of the time I just leave it in third gear, but some of these turns are way too tight to be flooring it in third gear. So I try my best that I can. Just like really tight corner after corner. The whole way down, I just coast. I don't even have to push the gas. It has enough momentum just to push the car down on its own. This is in Sport Plus, just sitting here. Look, it sounds, hopefully you guys can hear it, it sounds very clean. Man, it sounds very smooth, I like it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head back home and then uh, show you guys what I was talking about, the next mod for the car that I cannot wait for, and then uh, we'll close out the video. We made it home safely. The car is freaking dirty. It needs a serious wash, these wheels. They do not stay clean at all. If you guys are here with me, you obviously made it to the end of the video, and I really appreciate you guys for that. Make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Turn on the post notifications so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And here is a sneak peek for what's up next on the channel. We have the new GTS tail lights. Let me open these up, give you guys a little sneak peek. They look so good. Ever since I came out, I ordered them. I ordered them a while back. They do come from China, so it took a while to get here, but I think it was worth the wait. I, just, I already looked at them. They look freaking awesome. I'm a little late to the party, but I got a really good deal on these because I ordered directly from the supplier, not from other companies that were marking them up. So I, I waited my time and I got a way cheaper deal on these. It was so worth it. Look how nice these look. These look freaking clean. This is just for you guys that made it to the end. I really appreciate you guys. They look so good. They're a really nice color. The detail is awesome. I actually have VLANs. This is a, these are made by a company named VLAN. Those same exact lights that I have on my ISF. Those are VLAN headlights. And then I have VLAN tail lights as well. I love these lights. They've been on here for a couple years. Not a single issue. I've had, I haven't had a single issue on these. That's the reason why I felt comfortable going with the VLAN ones. They, they do make some really good quality stuff and the fitment's always on point and the prices are on point. I cannot wait to get these on guys. So next video, make sure you guys tune in so you can check it out what it looks like with these updated tail lights. I have the pre LCI ones, so they're pretty basic ones. So I cannot wait to get these on there. It's gonna make the car look so much newer. But with that guys, it's time to enjoy the weekend with my family. I hope you guys do the same and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.
All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's. So that's going to be it for. Oh, no.